Okay, in this presentation, we're going to talk about dialog boxes. A dialog box is a small graphical window that displays a message to the user or requests input. A message dialog displays a message and an OK button. An input dialog prompts the user for input. In this example, you see enter a number and the user will type in a 5 and then press OK. Using the J Option Pane class, you can quickly create and customize several uh, different kinds of dialogs. Um, you need to include the uh, statement import Java X dot swing dot G Option Pane. G Option Pane is found in the package Java X dot swing. And you need to include this in order to use the methods. The methods that we're going to use are show message dialog and show input dialog. Those are two static methods in G Option Pane. The show message dialog displays the message dialog box. In your code, you would say J Option Pane dot show message dialog. And in parentheses, the first parameter is null to say go ahead and display the box in the center of the screen. And then you have your string, hello world. So J option pane dot show message dialog, the capital M, capital D. Another example here is J option main dot show message dialog. And here I'm passing the string. The number is plus X. The number is plus X is going to be evaluated into one string and then um, stored. So you're seeing this, the value of X is being stored, um, is being displayed in the dialog box. To read input from the keyboard, you're going to use the show input dialog. Now show input dialog method returns a string, so you need to store it in a string. So I've declared a string called number string, number string equals J option pane that show input dialog. And here you just specify the string you want to display, the prompt. So here it'll say enter a number, and initially it'll be blank. And um, then I press a 5 and then press OK. So I enter in my value and then press OK. So you show input dialog whenever you want to uh, read in input. Now it always returns and stores the data in a string. So in this instance, number string uh, creates a string uh, with the single digit 5 there. So even if you enter a number, the value is a string. So what if you want to process that number? What if you want to do something with the number, add 5 to the number or something? You need to convert it to numeric data. To convert it to numeric data, you're going to use um, methods in the wrapper class. Um, so the first example, I am converting a string into an integer. So I need to say integer.parseInt. So the method is parseInt is in the class called integer. Integer.parseInt and I pass a string to it. It returns an integer and stores that in count. Next example, I'm saying convert a string to a double. You're going to have double.parse double. It takes a string and then converts that string into a double. So price was a double. So to convert an integer, you have to say integer.parseInt pass a string. And to convert a double, you say double dot parse double and pass a string as a parameter. And it will return the appropriate data type. Whenever you use a dialog box, you should exit the program with a system.exit as the last statement. Unlike a console program, a program that uses J option pane does not automatically stop executing when the end of the main is reached because the J option pane class causes additional tasks to run in the JVM. Let's start and write a sample program. Write a program that computes the polynomial x squared plus 2x plus 1. We're going to prompt the user, please enter in an x. When we type in 4 and press OK, the result is uh, 25 should be displayed. OK, so let's import Java x dot swing dot j option pane capital O and capital P there. 
and then public class compute polynomial dialog public static void name string arch okay so I'm going to create the variables I need to have first one is going to be a string string number string because um, I'm going to store the data initially in a string and then I need to uh, convert that to a double and then I'm going to have another variable for my result okay so I want to prompt the user to enter in a value numbers string equals j option pane dot show input dialog and I'm just going to say prompt the user to enter um, x okay alright so when they type in a number um, I press enter it's going to be stored in number string well I need to convert that um, string into a double so x equals double dot parse double number string and now that it's a ma now that it's um, um, in numeric form I can then do um, uh, mathematical operations on it so I'm going to compute the polynomial result equals x math dot pow x comma 2 plus x times 2 plus 1 and now I want to display the result j option pane dot show message dialog null is the first parameter it's going to be in the middle of the screen and then I'm going to say result plus result so the value that's stored in the memory cell for result and then um, I need to say system dot exit zero just to close out all operations um, that um, using this dialog box that may have started in the background. So I'm going to compile this and run it. Enter X. I enter in four and press enter. Press OK. And it says result is 25. to turn in the sample output and you really just can't um, copy and paste the output like we did if the output was in a console window so instead we got to do a screen capture in Windows you can do control print screen or alt print screen to copy screen output and paste an image in a word document or um, in uh, Mac you can use uh, command shift 3 and then or command shift 4 on a Mac all right, you put it in a Word document. You would attach and upload this document with your source code. Okay, so when we, uh, to produce the output for um, the compute polynomial, I'm run the code, enter in an X, I enter in a four, okay? After I've entered in the four and before I press the okay, I'm gonna do a screen capture. So in, um, I'm on my Mac, so I use Control, Command, Plus, did a screen capture. I then open up Word, and you see it still remains there. And on an empty, on a file, um, empty screen, I'm just going to paste that, insert picture, okay, I paste that. Um, you can just do control if, if, if in, in, in um, Windows you can do control C and control v, control V to paste whatever you just captured. But in Windows I insert a picture. Excuse me, in a Mac I insert a picture there, and then I go back here, click OK. It says result is 25. I do another screen capture. Command Shift 4. Just trying to get just that window, and I come here insert picture 
get the last screenshot. And so that's my output. I've copied the screen and pasted it in a Word document. I will save this and upload this file.